Okay guys, today we're talking about the color that every woodsman should wear. Now, admittedly, before we get too far into this, I will say I do have a bit of a bias to this color. I do have ta a tan truck, tan guns, and a few things that don't necessarily need to be tan. But in this video, I am going to be talking about why I wear a lot of tans, browns, and kind of earth colors, and why I think you should as well. So without any further ado, let's jump right into this. Okay, so I'm going to break down kind of my story with tan and why I think or why I came upon the conclusion that tan is a pretty awesome color for being out in the woods and just general activities. And hopefully one of these reasons will uh, at least share, shed some light, maybe convince you to give it a shot too. So when I initially started with like clothing and um, wearing stuff, apparel for the outdoors, I wore very dark shades, things like dark greens, blacks, and I thought that those colors were not only kind of tactical, but I also thought that they were just the colors that you wore, and I thought that the woods was generally colored in darker shades of greens, blacks, and such. And I didn't know a whole lot at the time about the woods, uh, but that was my initial going in. Now, as I spent more time outside, and as I spent more time in the woods, actually, I found out that this is not completely untrue but also definitely not true so I started to go over to a tan colors so I started to wear more tan colors initially because of the fact that of course darker colors pick up more heat and are hotter and I found that by wearing lighter colors whether it was hats shirts or pants that I could actually stay a few degrees cooler in the beating Sun and of course for those unfamiliar with Alaska uh, you know Alaska has the midnight Sun so as a woodsman especially if you're out in any open terrain whether that's more open fields or open woods, you're going to be under that sun 24-7, seven days a week, or as long as you're out. You know, that sun is never going to go away. So it's important to have clothes that properly keep you cool under the sun's beating rays. So that was the initial reason why I first went with the color tan. Tan just repels the sun better. Now, as I began to, or as the seasons began to change and I continued to wear tan, I began to debate whether I should continue to wear it or go back to some more traditional kind of colors. But what I began to realize, and as you guys can kind of hopefully see around me, you know, there are colors or shades of green here, but as things die off and as things uh, kind of become fall, and even in spring, a lot of the colors or a lot of dead things like dead grass, dead leaves, um, just in general dead wood, all go to colors of tan, colors of brown, colors colors of tan and brown. And so I found that uh, you actually had natural, naturally quite good camo or camouflage in um, wearing just tan clothing. You didn't necessarily need camo patterns um, you didn't need to wear things like multicam because honestly tan was pretty good and so with hunting when it came down to hunting i found that you know uh, just wearing tan was pretty much good enough for most things and honestly the best part about wearing tan for colorations of camo is that it expands your horizons you know uh, if you're going after things that are only camouflage that will limit you in things like backpacks that you can choose pants you can wear you know shirts over shirts hats all of those things are limited if you just are going for camouflage patterns or things that are made in multicam especially when I first started in my wilderness adventures you know uh, nowadays we do have things like gloves that are made in multicam we have things like backpacks that are made in multicam you know pants and so on and so forth that are made in uh, good camouflage patterns but in the beginning you know there weren't uh, access to good quality clothing and you know apparel and, uh, equipment that had those camouflage patterns. So nowadays it's a little bit different, but even still it does hold true that if you do go with a color like tan, not only do you still get good you know, cover, you know, you can blend in pretty well with uh, tan as your color, but also you get a good access to uh, you know, more maybe civilian type clothing and equipment because it is tan and a lot of things come in tan, whether even things like boots, you know, come in tan. 
So uh, those were the primary reasons to why and kind of my journey into the color of tan and brown, kind of these more earthy tones. They work very well in concealing you in the wilderness when you're hunting, and they also keep the sun off you when it's beating down, or they help mitigate the effects of the sun beating down harshly on you. So tan is a color that I think all woodsmen should wear. It's something that if you like and you know you can wear tan very effectively in your environment, it opens up a new field or a ability to pick clothing, apparel, and equipment that isn't necessarily military or tactical. The last thing that I like about tan is the fact that, once again, it can be very effective in, you know, it can be very effective in cover and against the sun, but it's also a very casual color, you know. If someone sees a tan backpack or sees you wearing tan, you might be able to disappear in a field very quickly, but it also doesn't scream, you know, military or that you're trying to disappear in the field quickly. You know, you might be able to, but you're not necessarily marketing yourself as that. So those are my top reasons for wearing tan, and it's a color that I think every woodsman should at least try to wear some point in their life. It's a surprisingly versatile color and a surprisingly uh, effective color as well for a lot of situations. So anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. As always, God bless, and I'm out.